Okay, this is where we can't say any more New Jersey words. Great. Not interested mm -hmm. so much. No substitutes. Because oh, it makes it's the perfect reason why. More and more because yeah. you're not satisfied. It's like an That's almost. True. You go like, I almost felt good about that. No. Mm -hmm. True, true. Right. This is a lifestyle choice. That's right. It's a choice to be healthy. That's really what it is. It's a choice to feel better. Right. And a lot of people understand they do feel better. They just have to get through three days and then they are amazed at how good they feel. Oh yeah. We should, we should, we should have provided them with a sign that says, leave me alone for three days. <laughs> Put a little badge on. Yeah. May strike out without warning. Stay clear. <laughs> <laughs> warning, warning, Will Robinson. No sugar, no sugar. <laughs> That's right. That's right. We have people joining us that if you are on your computer, you are able to print out handouts to support what we're talking about today. Mm -hmm. this, is up. this is part one. And quite a few people who don't go to church as early as we do were saying, that they were going to be in church. And I said, oh, no, it'll be recorded. Paul has his little babies there, so I'm not sure how fast he'll be able to post it for us. But I saw, yes, I saw him out with his, his one pal yesterday, yes. Luda, yes, they are so cute. Does he look like a mini me or what? Oh, my gosh, absolutely. Yep, he is yeah, so it was interesting to so when I did see the the website that the Facebook page that you told me about, God bless them. Yes. 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 That was, yeah, that was just great, and it was so happy to see them on wearing our the shirts, and they look so happy. And yes, they're doing good. Yep. Okay, we're gonna start recording in five, four, three. Hi, this is Sue Lawton. I am one of those people who has an ongoing affair with the sugar demon. And some Ooh. days I win, and some days I win. So we're mm -hmm. going to share with you, because my friend Debbie is with us. Aren't you, Deb? Yes. Hi, everyone. Because sugar gets into everyone's life, and we forget that it affects every aspect. So this yes. was a little chart that Debbie found. Didn't you find this chart for us? I did. Yes. Yes. And you know, as many times as we've done that, there was things on here that still surprised me a little bit. So um, I thought it would really be beneficial for others to see it as well. Yes. So I feel like we should be going 25 reasons sugar is bad for you. <laughs> so tell, um, them, tell them, tell them. The eyesight yeah. is something you explained to me a long time ago. Yes, yes. Um, it weakens your eyesight. It can cause cataracts. It causes heart disease. Of course, it causes tooth decay. Sugar feeds cancer. So it's something important. Sugar contributes to obesity, diabetes. It can cause headaches, including migraines. That was yeah. a new one for me. I didn't know that. It can cause depression. Sugar dehydrates newborn babies. Sugar causes constipation. Sugar can make our skin age by changing the structure of collagen. That right. was interesting to me as well. Because that, that's, that's one of those chemistry things that I try not to get carried away with. And where mm -hmm. else is collagen important to do with our body besides our skin? Collagen? Yes. It has to do with ha hair and nails. Oh, oh and yeah, sure with processing acid so if your collagen is broken down then what happens is things that you ingest or breathe can easily have a more acute attachment to vital organ systems at the wrong place get it Ooh, yes yes okay um it can also cause premature aging it causes varicose veins 
In children, it can cause hyperactivity, crankiness, difficulty concentrating, anxiety. Yes. It can I, I've seen that with adults up in our class, Deb, that have well, like yeah. a wrapper <laughs> or a chocolate bar. They can't wait for the break, and I can see the crabbiness starting like 20 minutes after they ate. I go like, well, that's on you, Bubba. Well, I love when they try to hide it. <laughs> Let's see how which chair can I push it under far enough away from me? <laughs> right, maybe um, nobody. Knows I'm drinking soda in a Dr. Sue class. Yeah, yeah. Um, it can contribute to Alzheimer's disease, mild memory loss, PMS. It makes it worse. Um, causes hormonal imbalances, and you've told us we have so many to begin with. Um, yeah. Slows down the ability of the adrenal glands, which is really a major factor too. Yes, fight or flight gets interfered with, guys. You're trusting yeah. your insulins becomes compromised. It suppresses the immune system and it increases estrogen in men, which is another uh, was another new thing for me as well. So, and when that Sugar. happens, what happens with estrogen in men is mm -hmm. again it really throws off the 127 hormones that are supposed to function together and they become lethargic. And lethargy is not something we encourage in our men. Oh, okay. New Year, retire from sugar gracefully, part one. Identify mm -hmm. why. Let's just be real honest. I had a lady write to me and she goes, just say it like it is, girl. Okay. <laughs> Here's some thoughts about choices, okay? Remember, you're doing this for you. You're not doing it for your sister's wedding, your cousin's anniversary party, your divorce party. You're not doing this to lose weight for a dated goal. What happens if you try to structure something that way, Miss Deb? Well, you're setting yourself up for failure if you don't meet those goals and you're putting added pressure on you. Um, we, we don't want this to be a diet. We want it to be a lifestyle change. Right, and it's really important that you decide you're doing this for your life. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do this. We always recommend newbies start with three weeks at a time being very strict. I've listed a cross to help you sort your thoughts the last couple of days before you trash sugar. Use frankincense and say, I am doing this for my highest good. And you have to believe inside of you that this is right for you. This is a lifestyle change. It's not a diet. You're not denying yourself anything. You're feeding your cells what they actually need. Right. And bergamot or lime with geranium combined can help you identify healthy beliefs for you. Mm -hmm. Yep. And you know, you can't change facts. Sugar facts are the facts. This is this is reality. This is what it is. This is what it does to our bodies. And to accept those facts, Healy Chrism and Douglas Spur can help you get through that. Yeah, because that can help you dissolve illusions. Mm -hmm. I always love illusions. Years ago, I went to Weight Watchers meetings and they'd say, well, if you wave the Weight Watchers manual over it, it takes the calories out of it. And <laughs> the first time I heard that, I thought, oh, this is a joke. I'm going to laugh. And I realized they weren't laughing. And I went, no, 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 it doesn't work like that, guys. No, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh, -uh, uh, -uh. That, That's like the one if you eat standing up, it doesn't count? Oh, it doesn't count if I eat standing up. I thought if I ate standing up that there's no calories because I'm burning them off while just standing, right? Yeah, it just goes right down, you know? Yep, no, it doesn't count. <laughs> no, that's a myth. That's a myth. It is a myth. And... and to really, really identify within yourself for you that you're making a lifestyle change you are comfortable with. Mm -hmm. And you accept the fact you're going to feel different. Use jasmine touch. Or if you don't have to the jasmine touch, use marjoram with lemon. Mm -hmm. And accept this new feeling, this calmer state you're moving yourself into is where you want to be. Right. And there are good side effects of doing this. Increased energy, just increased happiness eventually after we get over the initial crabbiness. There's a lot of good things that are going to happen within your body. So 
Um, Rose Touch is really helpful. And if you don't have that, the combination of Siberian fur with grapefruit will help you appreciate all the good things that you're seeing through eliminating sugar. And at the end of every day, you should be grateful for the good choices you made for yourselves. Talk to yourselves. Look in the mirror and say, okay, we're going on this adventure together. I may be brushing my teeth a lot just to keep my taste buds, you know, from wanting something that's not in our best interest. And I appreciate my cellular support and I'm drinking lots of water. We're going to get into some of those things in depth on whatever the date is, the second. But we're going to cover okay. it briefly today. And I got lots of questions about chemistry to do with eliminating sugar. I actually had some people send me a myth that said, oh, I've heard people when they're withdrawing from sugar can have serious side effects like withdrawing from alcohol. Well, you can have serious side effects. And if you want to spend three weeks tapering off, you can do that. You can say first, no sugar after 6 p.m. and do that for a week. Then you can do what? No mm -hmm. sugar. 2 p.m. Do that for a week and stop buying it. Stop walking down the aisles in the stores that have the things that are not good for you. If you're concerned about that would just be too big a shock to your system. Honey, this kind of shock to your system, your body would love. So that's why we talked about dopamine. Deb, can you see the dopamine part there? Yeah, dopamine is really a uh it's commonly associated with the reward and pleasure centers in our brain. And when we finish a task or accomplish a goal, our brain releases dopamine to give us that feeling of euphoria. So in this way, dopamine highly regulates our motivation and ability to exhibit willpower. So consequently, I found that sugar cravings and compulsive eating habits are often a sign of low dopamine levels. So supporting proper dopamine production will allow you to have greater willpower over your dietary choices and overcome your sugar cravings. Yeah, we're going to cover how to feed your dopamine better in a minute. Mm -hmm. please, please understand exercise is very important to chemical changes within your body. If you're working to accept the goodness of your good cells and feeding those cells, and using your lifelong vitality to give your body the balanced superfood it needs to remember how to be perfect. Two 20 minute walks at a steady pace are good for you. Does that mean that it has to be fast, Miss Deb? No, it's a steady pace. So, like walking in a store and stopping to browse every two seconds isn't a steady pace. But regardless of the speed, as long as it's constant movement. Right, and this I wrote this word here to remind me. What did we have there, Deb? Three handouts that you will find at the bottom of. What is what does that look like where people can print them out? Yeah, um, if you're looking at the webinar panel, um, there's a thing that says handouts in the number three. If you open up the little arrow, you'll see all three listed, and you can print them out. And one is called snacks list. Yeah, and what is and what is or people can run into on snacks that are really supposed to be healthy for you, Deb, because you and I found this out the hard way. Yeah, our dried fruits, right? <laughs> our favorite. So we used to have I miss my raisins. <laughs> yes, raisins. And I was into craisins and I love dried apricots thinking, oh, good, I'm getting potassium. But guess what? When they're dried like that, it increases the amount of concentrated sugar. Woohoo, yes. Okay. Here's a friend of ours who doesn't exercise regularly. Before he had some sugar, three minutes later, pardon me, <laughs> sorry, three okay. minutes later, just look at the change in the hologram here. Look at the change in the PET scan that wow. shows how quickly the body responds with inflammation. Isn't mm -hmm. that amazing? Yeah, that's amazing. Wow. Yeah, and also right. the the green increase, like the, our brain function decreased. Do you see that? Wow. Yes, yes, yes. So please, this is just to give you a little picture. And mm -hmm. carbohydrate consumption affects health, weight, and energy. Now, carbohydrate, you know sugar is, and bread. Bread is one of my downfalls. Like my husband makes the absolute best burned hot dogs in the world. 
And they are the absolute best with those nice potato buns. <laughs> and little mustard, honey. I'm just in heaven. So besides the toxins in the funny meat and mm -hmm. the bread I'm eating, the carbohydrate problem is the bread. So yes. when we are eliminating sugar so our body can find out how to be, remember, it can remember how to be perfect again. Mm -hmm. We need to not buy hot dog buns. No more hot dog buns right now, okay? Especially the potato ones. <laughs> oh, God, they're good. Okay. They uh, good. Yeah, white vegetables tend to be carbohydrate. They tend to be starchy vegetables. Think starch. Starch is carbohydrate conversion, which is sugar. Got it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And when we eat those carbos, we are actually increasing the blood sugar in our body, which makes us only want more. Absolutely. Yeah. And write to me about, well, what can I use? I put four gobs of sugar in my coffee. I use half a bottle of honey in my coffee and tea. I'd like to make cookies. And I go, well, you're going to abstain for three weeks. That's just it. Don't buy the local mm -hmm. honey. Don't bake the cookies. Just put your whole family on. We're getting healthy quick in January. Orientation. If you don't buy it, they can't eat it, can they? Exactly. If it's not in the cabinets, there's nowhere to get it. Right. And so that includes <laughs> potatoes. That includes rice. All forms right. of bread except the Ezekiel bread, which is all grain. Not not grain. All What's the right word I'm looking for? It's, it's all cool it's stuff, not whole grain. It's not whole grains. It's very cool, but it has no carbs. It'll say you have to read the you have to read the container very carefully though when you're pulling it out of the freezer section at the grocery store because a lot of the Ezekiel bread now they've snuck things in like raisins and oh, really? yeah and sometimes they'll say. Um, what is it? Coconut syrup? Uh, uh, uh. Syrup means sugar. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Ezekiel bread is the sprouted stuff, right? Sprouted. Thank you. Sprouted. You are yeah. correct. The right word I was looking for. Okay. <laughs> I love the picture. <laughs> yes. so there inside you waiting. Let's go get her. Let's go get this enthusiastic enthusiasm for life this lust mm. for life. when you're busy when you're productive when you're doing what you love you don't tend to go check out the refrigerator or the snack closet how many times a day when you're home <laughs> yeah my my friend and i met the other night uh, the other day and she said like it's the evening time for her like when you want to sit down and watch television you want to snack so I said, that's when you need to have other things ready for yourself. Oh, okay. like you have here. Yep. <laughs> you can't have any of these things around. You can't. And right. don't say, oh, well, I'm strong. I can have it sitting in a bowl in the living room and nobody, and I won't touch it. You know what? Maybe normally you wouldn't, but the minute you've decided to make a lifestyle change, the sugar demon will talk to you and tell you bad lies. Oh, mm -hmm. one more she kiss won't hurt you. Liar. Okay. <laughs> I have lots of veggies, fruit. I cut up celery ahead of time. I put it in little zips so I can just grab some when I'm feeling, you know, like I've got to have something crunchy and nice. Yes. Boiled eggs. If you have them already boiled, you don't have to like spend the three minutes looking through the snack cupboard to see, did I leave anything back there? <laughs> Well, you know I've done things like that, so yes, people do it. Um, yeah, the more that you have ready, have your use your affirmations, have them ready, read them. Um, you know about all the new positive changes in your life, and you have to be open to changing your habits. Okay, everybody kind of has a routine. At the end of the night, they sit down, they watch TV, maybe they get their bowl of popcorn or chips or you know whatever. Be willing to change those things. Yes, be open to feeling different. And don't tell anybody mm -hmm. what you're doing. This is one of the biggest pitfalls. 
because if other people recognize you have the strength to make this lifestyle change and they're going to realize you got more energy, you finished up all those old projects mm -hmm. you started before Christmas, you're cleaning out the back room. They're going like, whoa, I think I should bring her some chocolate cake or maybe some carrot cake. Okay. Don't tell anybody because then they'll know they can be strong and they can do it and they may not be ready yet. Right. Yeah, sabotage is really important and it surprised me when some of my very dear friends that you think would be supportive were not and they did exactly what Sue said. So, and they brought me, you know, my favorite dessert, my favorite cake, let's go out for ice cream. So, yeah, tell no one. Right, and that's about them. That's not about you because right. you've Decided this is a lifestyle choice that's healthy for me. I like me when I do this. I feel good mm -hmm. at the end of the day that I resisted the carrot cake display at Wegmans. I was very good. I walked right by, kept both hands Yay. on, kept moving, kept moving. Okay. And good. We sent you um, a page, I believe. Didn't they get the how to stay? Yes, it's on the coriander sugar handout, the second one there. And yeah. it's how to get rid of be distraction free and crabby relief. Yes. Holding on to anger is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. God, wouldn't that be fun? No. Anyway, <laughs> sometimes people eat to put something in their mouth so they won't talk. Right. Mostly if they're with people that push their buttons because mm -hmm. like, I don't want to say what I'm thinking. So I better put something in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Now that saves you socially and it might even save your soul. I think someone's at the back door, honey. Um, you really want to resist mm -hmm. back old things and my recommendation is drink some more water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you need to look at things from a different perspective. Yes, it's, you do. You need to look at things from a different perspective. And that's a great position to do it. <laughs> yes. Forgiveness is freedom. Yeah. Yeah. We want to, we want to be able to forgive others and ourselves and the use of Roman chamomile geranium and frankincense, each three drops. If you combine them and put them on our wrist, the back of our neck and just inhale them and you want to make positive statements. I can see clearly now what is in my best interest. <clears throat> I am competent to express what I want and have the courage to complete my lifestyle change. Very important. I forgive myself for believing misinformation about myself and am rapidly accepting my new feelings as good and true for me. Right. I like this one. I'm allowing others to be wrong quietly. And I find I am happy to dwell on discovering more of my virtues and my free myself from harsh judgment of myself and others. You who kind of framework. This is the kind of framework. You want to keep yourself in while mm -hmm. you're cleaning up sugar because you will find that sugar helped you write really negative things you thought about yourself. Sugar oh. help you spike, you'd feel really good, and then you'd feel really bad and you start beating up on yourself. So mm -hmm. without sugar, you can erase some of those bad, untrue things you said to yourself. Very important to do that. Yay. And let's water what it can do for you you know i'm a big water pusher oh and it's so important to do the water when you're doing this you it helps you digest because it makes saliva it keeps your mucosal membranes moist it allows your body cell to grow reproduce and survive and it flushes your body waste out mainly in the urine it lubricates our joints so we're not squeaking <laughs> right. and water the major component of most of our body parts. So it's like so important that we have just plain water. Right. And it's what else? brain to manufacture hormones and neurotransmitters. You don't want mm -hmm. thick neurotransmitters, honey. You want no. fully flushed out lots of moisture for your neurotransmitters 
keep all those 127 hormones in balance and Yay. regulate the body's temperature through sweating and respiration. A lot of people start sweating all over. They smell funny. Hey, you get rid of toxins. Just take another shower. It's no big deal. Mm -hmm. It acts as a shock absorber for the brain and the spinal cord, converts food to components needed for survival and digestion, and helps deliver oxygen all over the body. Yay, oxygen. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I, I didn't know baggage was getting a graduation. I like it. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. It's very important that you recognize that how you got into the state you're in right now, that you've decided you need to make a change. This is your decision, no one else's. Right. You have to really make some serious goals and keep them. Mm -hmm. And we have a board and we have goal setting all worked out for you. And it's on webinars. And we're going to repost those for you. You've got to really get in touch with this is your life. You don't have to carry other people's opinions with you. Right. And you're going to move from reacting to carrot cake displays to initiating exploration of new vegetables. Mm -hmm. uh, the Instant Pot. Everyone's got one now. And there's a gazillion recipes that are all very healthy that have little or nothing to do with sweet. Mm hmm and being in motion is absolutely so important. If you find yourself sitting on the couch for longer than two hours, you're bored, get up, move around, do all kinds of stuff that are good for you. Yeah, even if it's just a trip around your dining room table, you gotta move, you know? <laughs> you gotta, gotta have some movement in your day and not just sitting on and watching the boob tube. Yes, and here's a whole list of good reasons to eliminate sugar. The number one, of course, that I'm always harping on is people when they get cancer and say, gosh, I was eating healthy, I was exercising. Yeah, you were for the most part. But if you're not drinking water and you're having four glasses of wine every night, you're feeding mm -hmm. cancer in a very healthy way. Healthy for the sure. cancer, not for you. Right. And a lot of the benefits listed here, people have told us they experience it when they do eliminate sugar, they sleep better, they do, uh, the cravings are reduced, they don't feel as anxious, um, they're more, even more creative, that, you know, things that have kind of been stagnant, they are now suddenly enjoying their creativity again. Yes. And the list goes on and on. Give yourself the three-week vacation and reevaluate. Do you want to go back to sugar? Being aware is such a wonderful benefit. These are the things you okay. need to make your experience meaningful for you. Eliminating sugar, alcohol, white vegetables. You want water, PB assist, Terrazyme, lifelong vitality. Terrazyme isn't just for digestion. Terrazyme is excellent to break down the old fecal matter that's been living in your intestinal tract that sugar helped crystallize. So mm -hmm. think of breaking up old bad habits living in your intestinal tract. Walk, 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 affirmations, food plan. Um, we're gonna publish a list on the second when we talk about part two about the affirmations, things to give you jumping off places for you to grow your own. What do you think, Deb? That's perfect. And there, there are a few suggestions that we did in the webinar today, but there's many more to help you achieve these goals of a healthy lifestyle. So and remember, it's your choice and you can't pour from an empty cup. Take care of yourself first. We've covered before about adrenal fatigue and one of the contributing factors to adrenal fatigue is sugar is yes. dehydration those things all contribute to adrenal fatigue and that when you have stress and you're trying to take care of people and you're trying to help people mm -hmm. you can't because you're too tired it's true very true yeah ah, look Ooh. at our friends here look at our friends what do we have here miss deb 
We have cassia. It's hot and it's so soothing. <laughs> yes. Yes. And we're giving you lists again of these really important oils because sometimes people have oils and they forget, why did I have this? Exactly. The well, cardiovascular Cass strengthener is one of the reasons I love cassia. A lot of people who've suffered disappointments in life They've worked a job for a long time they don't really like. They don't have any inspiration at work. They only get inspired at home. They're really trying to break those habits, move their minds on. Cassia is a great cardiovascular strengthener, so you want to participate more in life. That's right. And Rosemary, she's our, she's our friend, Rosemary. She, um, Rosemary is great. In many things, but it's great for this time of the year for all that clogging mucus, the respiratory systems. And, you know, you hear everybody's hacking away now. Um, it's really good at releasing that and helping you get rid of that. Um, right. It's adrenal cortex. And you mm -hmm. need that sucker stimulated again to balance some of those 127 hormones. Mm -hmm. Yep. And rosemary, of course, helps to stimulate cell renewal. So when we're getting off of sugar, our, our cells are even healthier than they were before. So we're renewing with a better, improved cell, which is wonderful. Yes. Mm -hmm. What's down here? Ginger. Woo, we love ginger. Ginger is our pal. Yeah, that's another good thing. It's a circulatory stimulant. It's good for the heart. Um, it's indicated if you have like, you know, your this time of year, your hands and feet are colder. If you're having any sort of cardiac issues, it is, it's warming. It warms the skin and it helps the blood flow. So if you have, you know, this time of year, people with arthritis and things like that, they're feeling it more. Ginger will definitely help with that. Oh yeah. So get your oils out, open them up. When you you're going to this change, yes. give yourself a treat. Give it some of the wonderful support from your essential oils. Here's mm -hmm. one of the things about being determined. And yes. Dad was always good about reminding me, if you have a slip, like you're at dinner with a bunch of people, they bring hot rolls to the table, and it's your turn, and you just take one, and you don't realize, oh, no, wait, I had two bites of that with butter. Put it down. Yes. Don't yes. eat it, and don't ruin the whole rest of your week. It's true. Yeah. One little slip isn't enough to spoil it. Don't always say like, you know, a lot of people feel like, oh, I can only start on Sunday or Monday of the week. And if I goof it up on Tuesday, then I have to wait till next Monday. No, just get right back on it and do it. We're all human. We make mistakes. Right. And this whole process that Deb and I are sharing is about being aware of how to take care of you, being aware of your body, giving you feedback about mm -hmm. what Good for you. That's why we give you little printouts. We give you little handout ideas. You're mm -hmm. all intelligent, sensitive people. You sure. can't do this, but don't talk to other people about it. Okay. Right. Yep. And this is really important. Like when you feel like you're just, you have to have it, you can't do it, you want to binge, try a couple things. Drink two to three glasses of water. All right. Find a mirror, look into it, tell yourself why you need to stop eating. Remind yourself of the goals that you made for yourself and convince yourself that you're strong enough to do this. This yeah. is Sue's biggie. Yep. <laughs> yes, find a mirror, look into it, tell yourself why you want to feel better. Distract yourself, right. go for a job, watch a TV show. Call an old person, listen to them tell you those same stories 80 times because it's an act of great generosity. And I mm -hmm. love this one. Find a jar. J A R. Find a jar. And each week, <laughs> add a note with a good thing that happened. Like, I didn't eat carrot cake during this period of time. That's a very good thing for me. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Use the jar and read about the amazing year you had. You will yeah, be it's how many good choices you made and how you're your own hero. Yeah, because so many times we focus on the negative things that may have happened during the year, and this is a great reminder of all the good that did happen. And I believe in this. Stand mm -hmm. up, 
with your arms wide and say, I am willing to let the love in. It is safe to let the love in. Our pal Louise Hay. Right. Breathe in the frankincense. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the new feeling of loving you. We'd like to thank you all for joining us. We look forward to continuing this encouragement on January 2nd. That webinar is posted. This one will be um, posted when, like I said, Paul can separate himself from his buddy Judah and help us get this posted. And we will let you know. Thank you so much. We love you guys. We know you can do this. Happy New Year. Hey, if you go to my Facebook page, I put Australia's opening of the new year with all their amazing fireworks. I've never seen such a firework display. No, that so was. Six minutes into the recording. It's great. Yeah. It's magnificent. It really is. Happy 2018, everyone. Healthy, happier us. Thank yeah. you, Sue. Thank you. Oh, and boot camp is ready. Write to Deb if you want the link for boot camp. It's okay. Happy Cal, H A P P Y C A L 359 Three. at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Just let me know what information you're looking for. Put it, please put it in the subject, uh, and I'll be happy to forward you anything. All right. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Miss Deb. See you shortly. Okay. Bye. Bye.